to my YouTube channel. I'm Jenny and I thought I would do a vlog today as it is going to be my birthday weekend this weekend. I decided I wanted to do something a little bit out of the ordinary for me. I've always spent my birthday with my family which has always been lovely. However, both my mum and dad are not in the best of health and I didn't want to put too much strain on them. I've also been obviously a little bit stressed out recently. So I just thought it'd be nice to do something for myself. So I've booked a weekend away at Sopwell, I've booked myself a massage. We're going to have afternoon tea. My brother is flying over from America. He'll be staying with my mum and dad. So I know they're being cared for while I'm away at the weekend. Yeah, and I'll be spending it with my boyfriend. So it'll be a really nice break away and I'm just so looking forward to it. What I really like about going away for these weekends is that it takes you out of your ordinary surroundings and you get to dress up for dinner um, and you just get to wear things that you wouldn't normally wear dress up a little bit more special. So I've picked out a few things that I think I could wear over the weekend. In fact, I'll go and show you because I've just laid them out on the bed so you can see what I'm thinking. So here I've got one flowery. It's quite short. No, it's not that short. It's like midi length dress. And I've got another one underneath. I'll try these on to see how comfortable I feel in them because that's the most important thing. Um, but I'm thinking these, either these two for afternoon tea. And then for the evening, I don't think the restaurant is particularly dressy, dressy. The last time I went there, um, people were dining in jeans. It, there, I don't think there's a dress code. However, it will be my birthday, so I would like to wear something nice. I've got these black and white dresses, which actually I've never worn before, which I would actually quite like to wear um however i don't think i'm going to be all that comfortable in them because they are very clingy and they are a size eight i don't even know oh this is a 10 this one was the eight i don't know if i'm even going to fit into them so i'll see how i go with that and then this one is a knitted long knitted dress which actually i love wearing i feel really comfortable in it again it is a little bit on the clingy side but i think because it covers you up all the way it feels very comfortable to wear however if i don't feel comfortable in either of any of those dresses then i do have this one which i wore for new year's um, again, a short plain black dress and I did feel comfortable with that. If it's a little bit too on the short side, I could put leggings with it, but I don't think it is. I can't remember wearing leggings with it last time. Um, yeah, so I'll try those on and uh, I will see how I feel in them. So this is possibly outfit one for the afternoon tea. I wear this dress quite a lot, so I know I feel comfortable in this. I wouldn't wear it with the leggings, it's just I couldn't be bothered to take my leggings off. Um, option two is this dress for afternoon tea. I've just, the collar is high, but I don't think I suit it so much. So I think I'm just gonna tuck that in like that. Um, and I've taken my leggings off because it was just ridiculous. But yeah, I think um, this is the dress I'm going to go for for my afternoon tea. I feel really comfortable in this. Um, and it's so pretty as well. So yeah, that's good. That's one outfit chosen. So this is the black dress on. It's very stretchy, hence why I got into it. Um, it's nice. Do I feel comfortable? Yeah, I suppose I do. Um, not 100% sure on it though. This is the white dress on, and this is definitely a no. Even though this is a bigger size, um, it just accentuates everything that I feel self-conscious about. Definitely will not be wearing that one. So this is the long black knitted dress. Definitely my favorite. I think I'm gonna go with this. I just feel so comfortable in it. 
it looks nice with heels or boots it doesn't look too dressy dressy so yeah I think this is the one that I'm most comfortable in just to show you what the little plain black dress looked like on that is also nice and I feel comfortable in that one as well nice big bed TV lovely big mirror and the view of the car park and this is the bathroom small but actually really nicely designed love the lights in the ceiling just a shower toilet nice sink Good mirror.
that was the most wonderful stay at Sockwell House. I thoroughly enjoyed it. The rooms were lovely, the food was excellent, the spa was absolutely divine. There's actually two different spas there. So the one that we were using was um, their indoor, indoor spa, but I think there is an outdoor courtyard area that if you pay extra or if you're a member, you can use as well. But it was really, really lovely. Just for those two nights that we were there, we'd wake up early in the morning, go for our swim, go for a sauna, get ourselves ready for the day, have breakfast. It was such a treat. I, I loved it there. I would definitely recommend that hotel. And it was so lovely to see the wedding going on as well. It was really just a lovely, lovely stay. However, when I came back, it was super busy at work. So it meant that I couldn't finish this vlog. So actually, this is a week on from that stay. And I thought I would finish this vlog by talking about the books I would like to read this April. The first one is the Enchanted April, for obvious reasons. I read it last year and I so enjoyed it. I'm looking forward to reading it again this month. It's about a group of women who don't know each other all that well. They rent a villa in Italy and uh, through their time there, they make changes in each other's lives and build friendships and it's a really lovely, lovely book. It's by Elizabeth von Ernum. And it's becoming such a popular book with so many people. The other book I'm keen to read this month is Diva by Daisy Goodwin. It's a fictional biographical story of the life of Maria Callis. I'll just read a little bit from the blurb. In this remarkable novel, Daisy Goodwin brings to life a woman whose extraordinary talent unremitting drive and natural chic made her a legend but it was only in confronting the heartbreak of losing the man she loved that Maria Callas found her true voice. Yes yeah, so I'm really looking forward to that one and then the last book that hopefully I'll read this month is The Painter's Daughter by Emily House. This is again a fictionalised biography on the daughters of the painter Gainsborough, Thomas Gainsborough. As I understand it, one of the sisters falls into insanity and the other one tries to protect her from the insane asylum. Again, I'll read you a little bit from the blurb. 1759 Ipswich, sisters Peggy and Molly Gainsborough are the best of friends and do everything together. They spy on their father as he paints. They rankle their mother as she manages the books. They tear barefoot through the muddy fields that surround their home. But there is another reason they are inseparable. From a young age, Molly has had a tendency to forget who she is, to fall into confusion, and Peggy knows instinctively that no one must find out. But yeah, really looking forward to reading that as well. Hopefully it'll be a relaxing month and uh, the weather will improve. Wishing you all a wonderful April and I will see you in next week's video. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Goodbye.